Welcome to another journal video. Today we are gonna start with the, the video with just showing you the end result. You saw already probably into the uh, thumbnail, but this is the things that we are gonna work together today. Uh, so uh, just one thing that I want to say, there is no need of uh, required, uh, I mean, no required on uh, drawing skills. You can do everything without any drawing skills. It's great and it's nice page. I like it so much. Okay, so let's go uh, to the table and I'll show you how to do it. All right, here we are. So first we are going to need the material. So we need the journal and just uh, I'm going to do a base coat uh, with the acrylic paint. Uh, with the uh, color cyan blue this is gonna be a base so i'm not gonna bother you with the base so that's it already done quick and easy <laughs> so now i'm gonna use just some uh, um some uh, white pencil to sketch some line i need some uh, uh, curvy round lines because uh, as you saw from uh, from the end result of the of the page this is gonna be a van gogh inspired page so we need those kind of movement and uh, before doing directly into the page, I prefer to have a kind of guidance. So those are just sketchy lines that we'll use as guidance. Then I'm gonna use basically most of the color of the blue color that I have in my stage and start doing some dots with the smaller brush that I have again on my stage. So the point is there, uh, I started with the um, medium color. This is cerulean blue. So a kind of intermediate color, so you can have already some light in in in, the, in there. And uh, I'm just uh, gonna follow basically the line that I was putting before with the white pencil, but then uh, going around uh, inside and uh, on the top. So I'm gonna do all those kind of tornado. <laughs> if my, my son is gonna call those tornado, so <laughs> stay with me. Uh, and uh, just go all around this uh, first color. I'm gonna speed it up uh, in, uh, in a bit. I'm just doing uh, dot for the moment, but then I saw it that uh, I like it most like doing uh, a dot and a dash, a dot and a dash, but you can uh, mix and match as I was doing on, on this page. So I, I have some dot, some uh, dot and dash, uh, some bigger dot, so it's okay it's fine it's just to have some movement there and uh, i had in mind this uh, um, journal this page uh, already for a while because i went to the uh, museum to see the uh, immersive uh, experience uh, van gogh experience that i like it so much but then i never uh, put time to do it basically and finally now is the time <laughs> because it, it was like i don't know six or seven months ago so no worry, now is the time to do it and I really like it. So after doing, here you can see the dot and dash and I like it more this style, but uh, anyway, you can do it in, uh, in both ways and uh, the page in the end ends up to have uh, both uh, uh, type of dots and I'm, I'm fine with it, it's, it turned out really, really nice. Uh, after that, I'm gonna then uh, move with a darker color and uh, I'm using a primary blue uh, acrylic uh, paint that I have again on my stash, but just we need some uh, uh, difference in color. So we will have the medium uh, color, the darker blue, and then we will have some light. The point is basically to uh, fill in uh, whatever space we left uh, after doing the, the first uh, round and uh, have uh, as much as line possible and try to have those lines small and as close as possible. Uh, the only thing is that uh, I didn't wait to, to have uh, everything dry, so <laughs> that, believe me, was a bit tough to keep uh, the, the brush uh, on a strange angle to, to do those dots. But uh, you, maybe you do you, I mean, you just, uh, maybe it's better to, to dry everything and then start the second color. I mean, it's, it's easier, but uh, I was impatient as always. And um, after doing all those uh, dots, uh, I'm gonna move also with uh, um, lighter color. And in this case, I'm gonna use the turquoise and I'm gonna mix uh, uh, sometimes, uh, I don't mind, I mean, I have in my plate and sometimes I'm gonna uh, pick up some dark color mixed with the lighter color or the medium color. And this is gonna have some vari variety. And even if I'm going on top of the previous color, like I'm doing here on top of the dark blue, it's fine. I think the result is very, very nice either way. And I'm for the lighter color, for the turquoise, I think I, I, I try to do it uh, really 
teeny la little uh, um, dot or dash uh, because it's really bright but uh, I like it so much the contrast that I have with that to complete everything then I decided to add also some more uh, bright light, light color so I decided to go directly with the white uh, acrylic paint and uh, just uh, uh, putting here and there on, on the area uh, especially on the center of the again tornado let's say let's call it this way uh, but uh, i like it so much the contrast that, uh, that i have and here my son helping with that little fun <laughs> to, to dry everything <laughs> Uh, that's it for the background, I like it so much how it turned out, so now we are going to focus on the focal point and as you saw in the picture uh, before, I'm going to do some, uh, um, some flowers, uh, we are going to have three sunflowers, but to do that I'm just going to be using some magazine uh, page where I have just some text over there and uh, the easiest way to color those is to use basically distress uh, oxide uh, spray ink and those uh, the, the one that i'm using is uh, carved pumpkin that is a bit the orange one and then wild honey that is the more yellowish one and every time i need really to to mix well because those uh, uh, colors are those inks uh, are uh, separating every time and then spray there on the surface and uh, let it dry uh, I don't need to do anything else on those and we are not gonna use all the pages that I did but I wanted to have some variety on the text, bigger or smaller on the text so we can have some variety on the petals because those are gonna compose the petals of the sunflowers. And then I'm using this other page because I saw some uh, orange, a bit dark orange or brownish that can be perfect to do the center of the sunflower so I'm just drawing some circle and then cut those out and then start to put everything basically together and that's the fun part but also the longest part uh, I think and the important thing so I'm just gonna cut a circle using a reference the internal circle of the sunflowers but actually in the end I was just uh, taking whatever was available and I like to uh, tear apart with my hands every piece so I like to have this the border that is not so uh, straight uh, like doing with the scissor but you, you if you prefer a different way it looks good either way I think uh, the important thing to put everything together is to put a glue uh, on the uh, sunflower center just on the center of the circle so then you have the ability to uh, open a little bit, tear up a little bit and then put every pieces together under and then glue everything back and uh, uh, that's what I did basically and uh, this is the first sunflower I'm just gonna show you in detail this the first sunflower and then I will repeat for three and then uh, I want to have a bit more darker uh, center so I'm using a Faber Castell pit pen this is Indian red and uh, doing some dots all around on the on the border uh, to represent the seeds basically and then on the center i'm just gonna put some color and then uh, move with the, with the finger because uh, those uh, indian red uh, i mean the, the pit pen uh, color can uh, can be moved a little bit uh, if you do fast in the page and after that i wanted to darken up a little bit having some kind of shadow because the sunflower has some kind of a bit more uh, shadow for the seed and I was then using my uh, micro um, pen uh, in black and just adding some line but concentrating more on uh, kind of semicircle so I have a darker darker side and a bit more lighter side in this case I in this way I think I, I create or represent let's say the shadow of, of those uh, seeds uh, yeah and I'm just gonna repeat on the second flower and on the third flower and that's basically is the result then finally I'm gonna uh, put the quote on a piece of paper using again the same uh, India uh, red uh, color and the quote is great things are done uh, by a series of small things brought together by Van Gogh this is the end but I didn't like so much this bright white and uh, brown so I'm gonna show you how I did in the end ok 
okay here we are so basically this is the end page that you saw in the in the beginning and uh, I'm just gonna say I didn't do much change but I didn't like that white uh, piece is so bright so to fix it I did it off camera but to fix basically I'm just reusing the same color maybe if you see close yeah you can still see the page underneath so I'm just recolor that part and then on top I use the quote is the same I just used the, uh, the um, Posca pen um, this light blue color that I had again on my stage because I think mix better with the page but you tell me tell me in the comment if you prefer this way or the other way and then um, since uh, I have a piece of quote on this corner then I have another piece on the bottom uh, written uh, in uh, the other uh, uh, way and then on the other corner I decided to add those dot little dot lines to kind of uh, follow let's say the path to read the quote yeah and that's it basically i hope that you like it i'll put again some close-up picture in the end and see you soon for next time bye bye